here we have a host file which has got a number of links so if we go and select all the information and we go up to filter we can see that there are four Revit links in this file and the number of reference files that it comes from if we go to where we manage links you can see the information has come from one file now in this case the four links um, you can see that I've given them each a unique name there are two which are the original orientation and two which are mirrored links so we've got two original and two uh, mirrored links when we go to export the file to IFC using the standard exporter we can then set a number of settings we need to check to make sure we've activated uh, export links uh, we want to export the information in this view uh, if you want to um, change any properties you can the level of detail is probably small and in this case we want to use what's active in that view and then apply the IFC data onto the objects so if we hit export now this will take some time and I've sort of sliced this video out just to sort of cut down some of the time um, the time will obviously vary on the size of your files now in a case like this we have an error but then when it comes up only two links were um, uh, exported and two could not be exported so the mirrored links are not exported and that gives us a bit of an issue so I've loaded these into Solibri model checker just to see what we actually have so there's the host file and here are the two link files that got um, exported now with the standard export we have this issue of um, do we have duplicate IDs now you can see uh, in that information takeoff in the bottom right hand corner we have a number of uh, objects there which only have one copy and in some we have two copies and this is where we actually have the two links which are clones of each other and this is problematic because in reality if we're trying to export this for downstream use um, it's limited because each of these even though they're separate files they have um, objects which have the same GUID which provides a problem for us so what's the solution in a case like this, Geometry Gym has developed um, an exporter and it's um, you know, uh, in its first iteration. Again, we start with a host file. We start with four links, as you can see, so it's the same file. And just to check, we have uh, one source linked file. So in a case like this, uh, we go and then export. And with this, the geometry gym exporter uses the settings um, from the from the standard out of the box um, export but with this what we want to do is save um, those export settings to a JSON file so you can save it and then you can load it and you can see that it gives it a particular name so there under export setup it has now been assigned that setup when we go to um, export and geometry gym now there's an export um, IFC enhanced um, command and then when we do this we get an exporter there just checking to make sure we have the configuration file some of those are the settings we don't need to worry about normally and if we proceed it will then start to export the host file plus the four links as separate files so this is the directory that they're saving into and the configuration file is it needs to be placed in that location where the Revit file is and the um, where these IFC links will be going so you can see that um, it creates um, a file there the host file and then as the links come in you can see that the name that I assigned to each of those links gets appended at the end so you can tell exactly which one is which Again, we have an error here, and um, which is which is kind of problematic, but we still have these now five files. Looking at these now in Solibri Model Checker again, you can see that there are five files there, and uh, as we sort of switch them on and off, you can see that we get uh, these these four links coming through, and we get the 
original orientated ones and we get the mirrored ones as well. So this is kind of quite an improvement, which is really, really useful. So by being able to do this, we can sort of see the objects that are there. Now, the question is, do we have duplicate IDs? So if I select an object and you can see the, the GUID, which is there, and if I select the, the corresponding object, we have a different GUID, but we have the same bat ID that, that comes through the exporter. Again, not just furniture, but walls. You can see the, um, the GUID there, uh, which is now different from the other one. So that even though that they're clones, they're copies, now that we have the exported links, the original uh, orient, uh, ones with the original orientation and the, um, the mirrored ones, we now have unique objects that we can actually use for downstream use. Now, the other question then comes, if we had um, different iterations of the model. So in this case, I've got um, a version called 2G, and then I've got a, a, an option here called 2H. So I've exported them out at different times. And in this case, I've got different links. I've got two big links um, in this case. So if we look at these and then go, what if we export a different iteration of this um, as the project develops? Will we have the GUIDs persistent for the same objects? And so in a case like this, you might select a desk and you can see that this is relating to uh, model B and there's a GUID there. And if I hide that object and then select the one that was underneath, you can see now it's a different model E and um, the GUID is maintained. Uh, so again, you know, it happens for furniture, but also if I select a wall, uh, that's in model B, and you can see the GUA there. If I hide that one and then select that wall again, you can see it's a different model, but the GUA has been maintained. So this is useful because, again, we want to be able to use it for downstream use. And um, uh, so we get the links, the multiple links, we get unique GUA's, but we get persistent GUA's. Thank you.